Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be covering how to make three easy builds for beginner players, most likely level 100 and below. Now these are builds that you can work towards and I'm gonna leave links in the description to more advanced builds that you can build from these beginner builds, if that makes sense. <laughs> but before we get into the video, I just wanna say thank you so much for the new um, channel subscribers. Thank you so much guys, you know, welcome to the Nukaholics. And thank you so much everybody for 10K. Like, I can't explain to you how thankful I am for you guys. Like, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into it here. So all of these builds, I just want to point out, are not going to require any legendary perk cards. Like I said, these are for beginner players. And if you want to build on these builds, like I said, there will be links in the description for more advanced versions of these builds. So you don't even have to worry about legendary perk cards for these. So for the first build, we're going to have a heavy gunner, and it's going to include a power armor. And the stats that you will want are 15 strength, 1 perception, 4 endurance, 7 charisma, 13 intelligence, 3 agility, and, or sorry, 8 agility, and 8 luck. And you're also going to need a power armor, which I will leave a link in the description on how to get an excavator. Now these are the perks that are that I'm using for this build and you know you might not be able to get these all right away like say you're watching this and like you're to level 20 then you need to work towards this it just takes a little bit of effort you know grinding out some levels you know just doing main quests mostly I would highly recommend and you'll definitely you know work your way towards this and then even some even more advanced builds. Also for this build, I just want to point out, I do recommend mutations, um, specifically uh, carnivore or herbivore, depending on how much you want to rank up, but definitely one of them. Even healing factor serum, yes, include it with the fast travel glitch. I would recommend it for a beginner. Um, marsupial and herd mentality, I would recommend for this. Those are just, you know, beginner mutations that I would just recommend. And I will leave a link in the description as well for, you know, a beginner guide into mutations if you're not familiar with that as well. And this is the build. You can see it's pretty tanky. I'm only in an excavator power armor, which I will leave a link in the description on how to get as well. And, you know, you're, you're fairly tanky to start off the game. And you're going to be doing more than enough damage, as you can see here. You know, like I always say in my videos, um, a little bit goes a long way in Fallout 76. It's just every little bit more that you can add to your build, you know, add to your perks, whatever. You, you gotta just keep adding that stuff. That one extra piece of, you know, Under Armour, that, um, you know, legendary perk, that one more point towards it. Just stuff like that really starts to add up. So don't go think you're gonna go take out a Scorch Beast Queen with this, uh... Um, build solo or anything, but it's definitely a good starter heavy gunner build. And as you can see, if you get your hands on a powerful weapon like a Gatling Plasma here, you can take out tanky enemies. Even a Scorch Beast Queen, it would just take you a long time to do so. This is a very good beginner's build, and I highly recommend this one out of the three that I'm going to be showing. Now, with the next two builds, we're not going to be using power armor, so I do recommend that you get heavy combat armor. And the reason I recommend it is because it's fairly easy to obtain, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's just something to build on. You can go for secret service armor or whatever after this, or even go for a legendary effects on this armor as well. It is a very good armor, and the durability is awesome on it. So where to get this, you're just going to come to the White Springs Mall here, as I'm showing you. And of course, we're going to go up to a vendor and purchase this. And we're going to get the plans for it. And I do want to say, if you want to get more mods for this armor, then you just have to craft them and scrap them, and you will learn the mods for it. But I do recommend just picking up stuff that you see out in the wasteland. And as you can see, it's you know going to cost you a little bit of caps but that's nothing that you can't work towards. Now I want to point out another thing that I want you to go get for the armor, and that is the Brotherhood of Steel variant. Now you're going to come over here to Grafton, and you're going to see Vendorbot Greg over here, and he should be selling the mod. If he's not, then just hop servers, and I'm sure you'll find it. It, it will most likely be here.
and there it is <laughs> so this is a little bit more you know inexpensive so once you get the armor make sure you come over here and get this this is the version of the heavy combat armor you're going to want to apply to the armor and you do that at the armor workbench and you can see the difference it makes and this is added up over all five pieces so definitely go and get this um, another thing I want to point out is the Shielded Secret Service Under Armor. This is what you're going to want to wear under your armor pieces. And I do recommend this one because it's one of the easier ones to get with the Shielded Lining Plans. It usually involves a lot of RNG to get them, but with this armor it doesn't. It just involves you doing the main quest for the Settlers and the Raiders. And once you're done that, you're able to come to Vault 79 like I'm showing right here. You'll come over and see this gentleman, and then you can buy the Secret Service Shielded Lining Plan to apply to the Secret Service Under Armour, which I'm showing. And I think it's only a total of 450 bullion. And even for like a beginner, that is extremely easy to get. It's not hard to get 450 bullion. Yeah, 450 is going to be the total. And again, keep in mind that you're going to need to do the main quest involving Crater and Foundation. And once you're done both of those, or done that whole mission, then you'll be able to come over here to get it. I just didn't want to spoil anything. It does involve the main quest. And this is what you should look like when you have all of that applied to your character. So, let's get into the next two characters. And the next one I want to show you is a melee character. A melee... I just really don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but this is what your special stats are going to be and this is the more powerful of the three builds it's extreme like you can go take out a scorch beast queen by yourself with this build and it won't take that long even earl or a titan no problem especially a titan this build would be great for And for mutations, I do recommend, even Egghead, I would recommend at the start because it just helps you rank up faster, but it's you don't need it. Again, I recommend Carnivore, not Herbivore with this build. As you're seeing, I have Herbivore. Don't use Herbivore, use Carnivore. Um, Marsupial again, maybe Scaly Skin, and 100% Twisted Muscles. You want Twisted Muscles on this build. And for the armor... What we're going to be doing is applying the brawling mod to the arm pieces and then the ultralight to the leg and chest pieces. Now you get these again from crafting and scrap uh, crafting and scrapping these uh, armor pieces or you just find them out in the wasteland and scrap them. Basically from scrapping you will learn the plans. So that's why I wanted to show you how to get the plan. And like I said, ultralight build to the chest and the two legs. Now, you can use any two-handed melee weapon with this build, but I'm just going to go ahead and recommend a chainsaw. An auto-axe if you can, of course, but a chainsaw is extremely easy to get, and I will leave a link in the description on how to get one. It is just as good as the auto-axe, and it's not very hard to get the mods for it. And as you can see, it just destroys things. You will do this with a chainsaw. And you're pretty tanky for the most part. If you want to eventually get a vampire's chainsaw and then go for an unyielding bloody type build, you will just be destroying stuff instantly with this build. And again, I will leave advanced build uh, links in the description. So let's get on to the last build that I'm going to be talking about, and that is Commando. And this is what the stats are going to be set to for you to begin building this build. Now, I just want to say that where I'm getting you to in this video is just the beginning and it's going to be kind of underwhelming with the amount of perk cards that you're going to be able to put on without legendary perks. So I just want to say that rifles really benefit from a sneak critical type build or like a bloody build like rifles really benefit from that more so than other weapon types so i just want to say that this build at this point right here will be a little underpowered and again i recommend carnivore herbivore healing factor herd mentality marsupial and even scaly skin for this build just to start like I said, I will leave a link in the description for advanced build of this. And it does get very powerful. It's just not very powerful at this point. But if you want to go for rifles, this is a good way to start. 
Now, again, you're going to have the Secret Service Under Armour on for this. Like I said, you're going to have the Brotherhood of Steel um, variant on. But I would put Deep Pocketed on this one, especially if you're a beginner, if you can. Because that way you'll have an extra 50 carry weight when you apply it to all the armor pieces. And that'll help you when you're um, a lower level character. Now, you can see it's not the most damage output. But you will be able to, you know, pretty much kill 99% of stuff. Like, again, you're not going to be able to take out a Scorch Beast Queen, you know, by yourself. Unless you want to stay there for about 20-25 minutes. But this is just the beginning, right? Because if you want it to turn this into a sneak build, a critical build, or like a bloodied build, then rifles get extremely powerful. They're, they're awesome. Like, that's the build that I've been using mostly lately. And I just want to point out that, you know, don't let this video deter you from using this build. This is just where you start for the, you know, advanced build. Again, which I will leave in the description. But just with regular mob enemies here, like level 100 super mutants, like that was a level 60. But still, even if they're level 100, this build will more than, you know, take them out fast enough for you. And like I said, it's just the beginning, right? So... You gotta build towards something. You can't expect to have everything unlocked, you know, at level 100 or 200. You have to keep going. And that's the beauty of Fallout. And that's pretty much it, everybody. If you're a beginner and you're watching this and you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as fast as I can, as I'm sure some other knowledgeable watchers will. And thanks again, everybody, uh, so much for watching. And 10K, I love you. Have a great day.